Hi everybody! This is a tutorial to show you how to add uh, Google Map directions to your audio guide. This is really important because we want to make it as easy as possible for viewers to get at the content out there. Okay, so we have um, a beautiful piece of art in the City of Houston's collection. It's called Synchronicity of Color by Margot Sawyer. And we have a link to the directions here, but this is only to the park where the sculpture is located because there's not, the sculpture doesn't exist by itself already in Google Maps. So I'm going to walk you through how you add your sculpture to Google Maps and then you can add the directions to your, um, to your app. Okay. So, um, I typed in over here synchronicity of color and you can see that it doesn't show up that um, all it does is bring up discovery green well so what we're gonna do is that I mean that's good but we can do better so we want to bring the viewers directly to the artwork okay so there is our map let's change it to the terrain so we can see the pieces of art okay so i happen to know where they are this is one of them and this is the other you see these rectangles okay um they both lead down to parking that's actually underneath the park so let's go with this one because it's a little easier access since there's a road right there okay so what we're going to do i'm going to zoom in a little bit okay you hover over where you want it to be this one one of them is red. I believe this is the blue one, though that doesn't look red, but anyway. Okay, so you click over there and see we have a gray marker. All right, then what you're going to do is come over here. You see these three uh, lines. You click on that, scroll down, find add a missing piece. Then, so the city of Houston's collection, there's a naming convention that we use. Okay, so we're going to put the title by and then the author's name synchronicity i'm, I'm looking on the side make sure i'm spelling this correctly try hard not to misspell it but if you do don't worry you will be able to um to correct that uh even after it's posted in google maps okay so synchronicity of color by the artist her name is marco sawyer s-a-w-y-e-r okay now what we do is put city of houston like art collection pound q city art okay you have to pick a category that already exists in google maps and so the closest is museum then um okay so it's in uh this is called discovery green okay so it's located inside discover green now one thing about that is you may have to come back later and move your um, little marker a little bit. I've had to do that before, but okay. So just to kind of make you aware. All right. Um, it's always open on the website. If you have a website, great. Um, the city actually does. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here so you can see. Um, so we'll send people to the Houston arts map. Okay, so I'm just copying that from another little place that I already have it, the URL stored. Um, and then also, I would say open your, add a few photos if you have them. So um, let's see, so we have this. Here. Okay, I'm just looking them up. Okay, so that one's nice. You can only do it one at a time, unfortunately, um, but it doesn't take a long time, but still. Okay. Uh, Let's see what else would look good. That one would look good. And I would add, you know, as many as you want. I'll just do three for right now. It's, you know, the, the viewers, the if this is all the taste they get, then let's give them a good one. Okay. All right. So that's that. Oh, the reason our, that's still grayed out is because it wants some, it won't let us proceed until we have some kind of actual address. Okay, so let me just go look up um, Discovery Green's address. Okay, there it is, uh, 1500 McKinney. Okay, so let's just grab that. Copy. Paste. Okay, so now 
Okay, so where do we want that? Um, okay, so that's it. Now, um, the first time I did this, it did take a while for Google to sort of approve me. Um, but anyway, um, so that will, it, you will eventually get an email saying you're good to go. You've created a new point in Google Maps. So um, let's assume we already have that and um, we're ready to go back to our object. Okay, so well, we, we are not ready because we don't have the, um, the exact spot. So let's go back. We have another one. Um, I'm going to show you just so you can see the mechanics of it. Okay. So there's another piece of art out by the airport, the hobby airport called call Ernie. Okay. So I've just created the point for call Ernie and it has come through. So what we have already here is just the direction to just the airport and you know how airports are. They may never find it. So, um, so let me find, where's my call Ernie one? Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, there it is. So this is, um, this is the airport where we have the, the new call Ernie. It's right there. I added that picture. So I'll even zoom this in so you can see this really cool piece of art that is an airplane. It's a, it's a combination of an old airplane, a, a single prop plane and a pumping um, a pumping jack for oil and gas. Um, and it's a really neat piece of art. So, okay. Um, that is the place. So you go up here to the URL, copy that, then come back into your app and here. Okay. So we've already clicked it. You see how the cursor is inside here. I'm going to tell it, I want to, um, I'm scrolling down. I want to open a, a web link. I paste straight in there, make the link. Um, okay. Now, you want to make sure you follow all the conventions. Um, and for the cities, we go, we make it um, heading number two and we center it. Okay, so that way they all look the same every time and the user um, doesn't have to be confused. Okay, so then we're going to test it. Uh, we're going to publish it to the test server and then we're going to check to see how it works. Okay, and this sometimes takes just a little bit. I'll pause it. Okay, it finished. You can always tell when it's finished because you get this nice big green banner. All right, so I actually already have the city's um, test app open here. Obviously, this doesn't look quite normal because it's intended for people to use on their phone, but it does function. The app functions just fine um, on the computer. Okay, so here it is, and let's see where these directions will take us. Opening up. There we go. So there we have the new... Um, the new piece and then you just click the directions and it'll open up, you know, from wherever you, you know, want to start it or something like that. So, um, I hope this is helpful and I hope that, um, you can encourage all of your, uh, cultural objects to have their content accessible in every way, including getting there through the Google Maps. Thanks so much. If you need any help, just go to actusaudio.com, A-C-T-U-S-A-U-D-I-O.com. Thank you so much. This is Sheila Mayfield.